Hello, I saw Antiquities just now with, and they have three people now, surprisingly. Yep. So just one, which is Daniel lucky. Daniel Campbell. And you were the director. I am. Gary Newton, producer. The last Roger, leading lady. Roger Scott. Wow. Right. I was an actor in it, and I played a little part. I think you should win the beauty contest. You're very You're kind. Very Thank you very much. I feel like $100. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay. So I really liked the Q&A because I got to learn a lot about everybody. And I learned that. Unfortunately, you're, and in the best way at the same time, your, your dad died, so you had this beautiful tribute mm -hmm. to him with the movie. But we did, what you did not explain was how you built these sets. I know that you borrowed an antique wall, but where do you happen to find some of the stuff that is just crazily so, hilarious yeah. junk? So like, we, for lack of a better term, sure, you know, yeah. like, we it's had hysterical. A, we had an a amazing production designer, um, and she... Um, she came from LA. Melissa, Ma Ma Miss Melissa Myers was her name, and so uh, so still yeah, is. still is her name. It was her name. It still is. She Fortun changed it to modern and like share. <laughs> Fortunately, she's still Melissa. And um, no, she came in and with her team and they built. I had a lookbook and they took my lookbook and of all my ideas and Graham's ideas and Gary's and everyone's. Like that and, Bumblebee person. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. That's his wife, actually. <laughs> um, and <laughs> so that shit crazy. Yeah. No, wait, which was, well, which was was it written about the bumblebee or was the bumblebee then you wrote? No, that no, we, that was the, we we needed to find an, a, an antique that was very specific and bizarre and, and and all that stuff. And so we yeah. that was it was almost like a, a blank slate of like find an antique that's very particular. Um, and so our production designer Melissa came out and she she brought us a few different ideas and that was one of them and, and we went with that. No, I mean it looks like authentic garbage I found yeah. in the Midwest. Yeah. Like like I used to, I gave I'm gonna let do an interview with you but I just want to be clear like yeah. I I one time in 2002 gave someone a a, a mannish hula skirt girl as a trophy like a fake Grammy award as a present and and he threw it away I, I didn't think it was very nice of him his, yeah. well his mom thought it was garbage yeah well, but it was fun and I found it in Nashville but oh, I nice. gave it to him in Illinois nice <laughs> what was your favorite thing in this oh me you're, you're gonna interview me yeah. what was my favorite thing um I, I liked uh oh that's you're, you're awesome I guess we're all doing um I liked that uh, the, the di I said this in another movie, but this is the second one. Uh, the dialogue sounded real, as opposed oh, nice. to like. Oh, I meant uh, the literal thing. What was oh, your the favorite, favorite object? <laughs> um, the, the the weird looking bumblebee man with the swimsuit, the retro swimsuit. Yeah. What about you? What was your favorite object? Uh, it was the uh, uh, helicopter. Oh, oh, but that was an antique. Well, but you just asked me what was my favorite object. Oh yeah, object. Where are you? yeah. <laughs> uh, the naked baby's corkscrew, which had a brief but pivotal role when Walt lays his things on the on the nightstand and oh, okay. goes to bed. You know, I like I also noticed there was a, at the end where he's talking to the buddy and the, and the buddies are talking about uh, and I forgot his name but the guy who lies about stuff in the movie. Delaney, Delaney. yeah. Yes, yeah, Delaney. Uh, I noticed there was a sock monkey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a sock monkey. There were there, there was a sock monkey. Yeah, yeah, at the end, wait, 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 the more. final scene. It's your own movie. You I haven't know. seen enough of it. I'm only, I'm, I'm, I've, only I've watched it about a half a dozen times now, and yeah, I get to watch glasses. all the other characters. In the yes. Maybe you weren't watching it with your glasses on. Well, I had bought a uh, uh, one of the large sodas, and I felt incumbent upon myself to get the free re refill. So I probably walked yeah, out of the sock monkey out. to get the free refill. And that's why we did it intentionally, so people would come back again and They got again. bored during the movie. <laughs> no, find more stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, eggs and yeah, movies. I loved no, it. No, I, I loved that stop. part. But I, what I, I would say is, um, how do you want people to interpret the couple? How do you want them? Because you don't really tell people directly what happens um, with them. Uh, you know, I think that's the thing where it's like uh, people's interpretation, and I, and I hate being cliche with that, but um, they're about to, if, if Ellie's going through some stuff and, and he's going through some stuff and uh, Walt the, the lead and it's going to be a tough road ahead for him for sure to try to get through this because if they're finally you know possibly dealing with things or whatever or not then it's going to be tough for that relationship for sure. And, and the, the, the Tres Amigos are from Arkansas? Yep. Everyone's right. from yes, Arkansas? Yes. From okay, Arkansas. how similar, oh, I'm just stating that you, I don't, I've never lived in Arkansas but I'm from the Midwest and I've been to a million small towns along with big cities. And I love how weird our people are. Mm -hmm. uh, but how did you nail it to capture the weirdness of the small town people? 
Well, I think the, of, uh, of Arkansas. How similar are they to the weirdos in the Midwest? And I I'm pretty weird. I mean, you frightened me when you said that. You you take notes with weird people. I feel like now I can't yeah, he does. exist. He well, I can say it since I had nothing to do with it creatively or, or the writing side. Uh, Daniel and Graham write real, and they're not writing to be weird or different or quirky. They're writing real people in real circumstances. And uh, you're living in Austin, you would also know that the typical kind of uh, thing with a Southern film is to try to make everybody talk exactly the same. And that's just not the reality of oh, where no, the anyone accents lives. Are off people every time. are from everywhere. Yeah. And they have different influences. And uh, so that that's what attracted me to being able to, uh, the opportunity to work with these guys because they were being real and there's nothing wrong with real. Mm -hmm. uh, it's when you start trying to be artificial about it all that you, you lose your way and try to start writing stereotypes and that sort of thing. And, and was anybody, I mean, I don't want to bring it down and make it depressing, but was anybody personally affected by a family member or a friend with alcoholism? Uh, yeah, I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, 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 um, I had some family members that kind of dealt with some stuff like that. So that was definitely hit home, and it was something we were able to kind of capitalize off of, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah. And what would you like people to have if they could walk away from the movie with the broader message of whatever you're trying to say about alcoholism, what would you like them to know? Um, that it's, that it's, it's definitely something that will affect um, upbringings of children. It will affect relationships, obviously, as, as I'm sure that most folks know, but... Um, that it, it, it needs to be addressed, you know, sooner than later. Okay, I wish I could talk to you all day, but I'm gonna close this out because no, I no, think they yeah. want this oh, cool. scenery well, behind me. Well, thank you for having us. But what would you like to end this note on? Roger, you do it. Uh, listen, Antiquities, it's a fantastic film. It's a, uh, uh, it's, it's a heartwarming film, and if you just wanna sit down and escape all your other troubles, come on into the uh, uh, Sticky Vickies and uh, have a good day with us. And it's just beginning its journey, so uh, follow us on social media and spread the word so we can get more people to experience what we've been fortunate to create. And he's having a baby. Oh, How wow. does that happen? I, I I've am. never had a baby. That's yeah, the next I am, film. That, that oh. is. I I, I guess it's, it's not G-rated. Yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.